Welcome to story time, everybody. I'm Pear. And I'm Orange. Ah, oh, great. What now? It's a voice modulator. Just got it. Awesome. Well, maybe put it away, because I'm going to tell the story of Pinocchio. You want to hear it? Boy, would I. <laughs> uh. Get it? Boy, would? That's a double pun, son. Well, double congrats on being doubly annoying. Now then, you probably know the G-rated Disney version of Pinocchio, but the original story isn't quite so suitable for children. <laughs> Orange, would you knock it off? Sorry. <laughs> uh. Anyway... The original version of Pinocchio. Once upon a time, there was a carpenter. One day, he brought home a block of wood he planned to carve into a table leg. When he cut into it, the block of wood cried out. Wood, you stop that? <laughs> Orange! Okay, okay, no more voice modulator. I promise. <laughs> that was the last one, I swear. <laughs> anyway, the carpenter decided to give the wood block to his neighbor, a poor puppeteer named Geppetto. He carved the wood into a boy puppet and named him Pinocchio. Wait, I thought the block of wood yelled in pain when it got cut. That's right. So Geppetto just ignored the screams and kept carving it? He must really hate Pinocchio. Geppetto does not hate Pinocchio. Oh yeah? Then why'd he give him a name like Pinocchio? <laughs> uh, moving on. The moment Geppetto finished carving Pinocchio's nose, it began to grow uncontrollably. Killing Geppetto instantly! Ah! They won't tell you that in the Disney version. True, they won't, because that's not how any version of the story goes. I thought you said this story wasn't suitable for kids. I did, but... So let's get some gore up in here. This is boring. Let's get to the... Murder! <laughs> Orange! Pinocchio did not kill anyone with his nose! Sure he did! That's why they're called bloody noses to this day! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Now back to the real story! Pinocchio was a mischievous little puppet, and soon as Geppetto gave him legs... They grew super long! No! His neck grew super long! No! His legs started turning into noses, and he started stabbing people again! What? And this time, he was thrice as deadly, because he had three bloody noses! <laughs> That's it! Give me that! Hey! Give me back my voice modulator! Don't put my voice modulator in the garbage disposal! Don't turn on the garbage disposal! <clears throat> now, where were we? As soon as Geppetto gave him legs, Pinocchio ran away. <laughs> yeah, my version was way better. What a snooze fest. Speaking of snoozing, when Pinocchio came home, he fell asleep by the stove and his legs burned off. What? Yeah! But then Geppetto built him new legs. Uh. Oh, and Pinocchio threw a hammer at a talking cricket and killed it. What? Pinocchio killed Jiminy Cricket? Finally, we get some... <laughs> How did you get another voice modulator? I wished for it upon a star. <laughs> oh, wait. Missed opportunity. <laughs> ah, okay, let's wrap this up. Basically, Pinocchio ran off with his new legs and did a bunch of other mischievous things and got turned into a donkey. Ooh, did someone say donkey? <laughs> did that come from your voice modulator? Yeah, that one came pre-programmed. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Nope. Anyway, in the end, Pinocchio became a real boy. The end. Oh, wait, I have that one pre-programmed too. The end. How many things do you have pre-programmed into that thing? A lot. You want to see my favorite? Fine. Hey, hey, hey. 